Hello everyone. Let's proceed with another video in the series of Azure ML Prompt Flow. And in this video, I will show you how can you integrate LangChain with Azure ML Prompt Flow. So let's assume you have already written some code somewhere in your VS Code and you have already tested that code. Now the only thing which you want is you want to pull that code here in Azure ML Prompt Flow so that you can visualize what is happening. So that's the agenda of this video and we'll see how we can integrate a very basic LangChain code so that it will work along with our ML prompt flow. So let's quickly get started. So I will jump on to my um, prompt flow and the very first thing you need is the connection like I said. So just go ahead and create the connection. So for a change this time I'm using OpenAI connection and I have already created a connection string with this name. Now let's see if you don't know how to create a connection, you can just click on create. Oh, sorry, click on create and there is OpenAI. Click on this one and furnish all these details from your OpenAI portal and you are good to go. So if everything is done uh, perfectly, then you will see one entry over here. So in my case, this is the connection string which I'm going to use. So let's quickly go and click on flow. Like I said, this is a very basic video in which I will just show you how to integrate it. So I will go ahead with the standard one so that I will have some uh, nodes already in place. And this is how I prefer to get started. So flow and we'll name it test. So click on this and it will go ahead and create the flow for us. So this is the basic one which you must have seen earlier in my video. Now what we need to do here is, uh, let me pull it here. Okay, so if you want to add your LangChain code, one thing is you can go ahead and use these existing nodes because most probably these will not be of much use. Another thing is you can go ahead and add another Python node using this button from the top. So I would prefer to go ahead and use this because there is nothing much in this. So let me go ahead and write some code wherein I will be integrating LangChain. So the very first thing we need to write is we need to import all the required namespaces. So I would say from the very first one is to import the tool part because this individual node is nothing but a tool. So we'll say prompt flow. import tool then as I said we will be working with OpenAI this time so I'm just importing that and then I need to import the connection which we have already created so would say prompt flow oops it should be prompt flow dot connections and here we will say import open AI connection. So make sure that you are importing the proper one based on what kind of connection you are creating. And then I will say from open AI import open AI because we need this instance or this particular object uh, class to create uh, an instance of a client. Once these uh, declarations are done, what we need is make sure to decorate it with tool because like I said, these individual nodes are tool and here I am just defining the function in which we are going to write our code. So I will stick with the echo, but feel free to use any other name. And then I'm saying input, which is of type str. And then I'm saying create a connection. So connection would be of type OpenAI connection. So let's quickly copy it over here. And this function will just return some string. Okay, now it's time to create our client object. So I would say client equal to OpenAI. And in this we need to pass in API key. So this is just a basic code you must have done lot many times till now and we'll say con dot API key and this is make sure that you are writing the proper connection over here otherwise you will not get the sample worked. Okay next thing is we need to create the completion endpoint we need to make a call to that so what we can do is we'll say 
let's say completion equal to client dot chat dot completions so if you don't know from where i am getting this code it's just a pro you can see on any of the documentation of langchain you will be able to figure it out from where i'm getting this so the first parameter here is we need to declare the messages so for messages what you need to do is you need to define because this is my chat model so i need to define a role so the first one here would be for the user so I would say role, uh, so first one would be for the system. So I would say system and then what kind of content. So here you can just say you are an assistant which can tell the jokes. Let's keep it simple. Okay, and then we need to define another role which is user role so here let's put content as we can put any kind of prompt let's say uh, tell me a joke about fruits fruits okay and the reason why i'm passing this input here is because i want user to tell me like what kind of uh, uh, joke I want so right now I'm just hard coding it but feel free to just add it to here uh, this input one so that you can get the relevant joke and the next parameter here we need to pass is the model so I want to use model as my uh, GPT 3.5 3.5 turbo okay so let's I think we are good to go with this object creation the only thing which we need now is to return the output so that output would be completion um, dot choices and inside choices we have at the zeroth position the first thing and we'll say messages message sorry message dot content and this will give you uh, the response of this particular LLM call okay so once these are done make sure that uh, you are even setting the required uh, libraries and what all libraries you need to import so I will quickly go to my requirement.cs and here I will define my dependencies so first one we need is langchain and make it's always good to put the version which we are using so that in future it would be easy for us to detect that which version we use and then we need a langchain open ai let me quickly check okay so i i guess this is what we need and let's save it and we will see how it works so now we are done with our coding part next thing is we need to set up the runtime so it's completely on you how do you want to set it up so either you can go to this compute on the left hand side and create a new docker image in which you will install all these dependency otherwise you can also go ahead and use this preview feature where it, you will you can utilize any of these whether to start or advanced settings so if you're going with advanced settings it will give you the options to uh, set like when do you want to this instance to shut down or what is your idle time and all those but these are the two options which you can utilize so i'm not going to spin it because it's going to take close to two three minutes rather i would show you the one which i have already done so this is the one which i have already created i have already set my dependencies and it's the same code which i had shown you so what i have done here is let me quickly run this okay so i need to I would rather do this rather than creating a new instance so what is it let me go ahead and run this so it is validating now it is running on the top you can see let's give it few seconds and we will have our output ready okay so run completed let me go show go ahead and show you the output so this is the output of the eco block 
and like I said we asked for the fruits here so okay so I can click on this rather okay and here is the fruity joke for you why did the orange stop rolling down the hill because it ran out of juice so this is how easy to integrate Langchain. The only thing which you need to remember is you are injecting your proper dependencies using the requirement.txt file. And once this is done, you can quickly validate and parse the input using this particular button, which is shown on this bottom left. And once this is done, you will see if everything is validated successfully, then you will see that these connections are uh, the parameters which you are passing are part of these input here. So if you are not getting these parameter here, uh, parameters here, then it means something is wrong and you must have missed something. So this is the one way and the only thing which you need to remember is apart from the requirement.cs is passing the proper arguments and the connection string. So the line number four is very important. It will tell you that which kind of connection you want to use because there are chances that you may be using OpenAI or you may be having Azure OpenAI connection or it could be something else. So just keep in mind that what kind of connection you are using and whether you have set your requirement or text or not. So this is how it is. So this is just one block. Definitely you can go ahead and add more blocks, something like this. You need to provide the name over here and let's say if I'm giving some name. So it will go ahead and add the initial block for you. So what you need to do is just import your packages and change these signatures so this is how it is i hope you enjoyed watching this and let me know if you are facing any kind of errors doing this thanks for watching